funny? Larry begs me to do it. <laughs> it's common knowledge. If you don't unload your karmic baggage, bad things happen to you. Like when you break a mirror. No, that's a superstition. This is science. <laughs> I remember once I skipped an unburdening and boom, I lost the best job I ever had. Well, maybe you just weren't right for the position. No, you're not listening. I lost the job. They said start Monday. I bought a new shirt, got in the car early Monday morning, drove around for hours, <laughs> couldn't find it. <laughs> Finally, just went to the movies. You can come in now. So, how'd it go? Fine. Just fine. Where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna return your mom's pasta maker, and I figured while I'm over there, I'd unburden to her. To, to my mother? Yes. You're uh, going to confess to my mother everything you've ever done to her since you met her? Yeah, this could take a while. Don't hold dinner. No, no. <laughs> you, you can't go. <laughs> Because uh, you uh, haven't unburdened to me yet. I thought you said it was silly. Yeah, well, that was before I, I saw you do the bubble thing, and then Larry explained the scientific aspect. <laughs> okay. Hey, if you want, we can return the pasta maker. Oh, thanks, Larry. Great. Let's go, out. Okay. Should we uh, take the van or my broom? <laughs> Maybe we put it in a bubble. Then she put it in a bubble, but she did not put it in a bubble. <laughs> hey, Celia, so Friday night, Dharma's having a little party to celebrate the completion of her karmic unburdening. Can you come? It sounds like a barrel of monkeys. <laughs> but Friday nights, I clean a dentist's office in exchange for bridge work. Wait a minute. Don't you have a dental plan? Yes. I cleaned the dentist's office, and he does my bridge work. I think it's a pretty good plan. What does your union representative say about this? Who is your shop steward? What on earth is he doing in there? You don't suppose he's waiting for us to come in and say hello? Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Montgomery? Yes? I am on strike. Now storm out. Larry, what is going on? You'll find out when you get our list of demands. Well, I guess we should have said hello. Okay. Uh, about two weeks after we were married, one of your old girlfriends called, and I chose not to give you the message. Really? And I also told her that you were in prison, <laughs> and gay, and seeing someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we'll put that in a bubble, and we'll blow it away. What else? Uh, okay. Um, well, one time when we were having sex, I pretended, you know, that I didn't have an orgasm. You faked not having one? Well, I wanted to go again. I didn't want to have to wait in line. I'm sorry. Bubble and blow. I won't do it again. All right. Anything else? I did it like 30 more times. All right. Next. Uh, well, that's it. Thank you for doing this with wait. me. Where are you going? I'm going to your mom. No, you can't go to my mother's. Why not? Because uh, this whole thing has inspired me, and I want to unburden my karmic baggage to you. Really? Sure. Okay, rookie, let's see what you got. <laughs> One. Here's one. Do uh, you remember the, uh, the the pigeon's nest that was right under our bedroom window? The one the hawk got? Well, there was no hawk. Uh, <laughs> cooing and the chirping was driving me nuts, so I moved the nest to the park. You can't just move a bird's nest. The mother will never be able to find it, and the chicks will starve to death. <laughs> I uh, know that now. I'm sorry, uh, but I've unburdened, and, and you're right, I feel so much better, karmic baggage-wise. You murdered babies? Not babies, pigeons, rats with wings. Those poor birds, Wendy. 
Jesse and Janine and Big Tony and Little Tony. How do you sleep at night? It's actually much better. They were right under the window. Come on, blow the bubble. Okay, okay, okay. No, now? you can't go to my mother's now because there, there's more. There's lots, lo lots more. Okay, go 